Stephen A., here's what you said in response. You were watching us. You said, what? Lewis Riddick is insane. And you can hear Stephen A. saying it. What? On Get Up ESPN just now, this man uttered that Cam should start out on the bench behind Stidham. WTH, because I can't, I don't know if I can say the word. WTH is this world coming to. If Cam is on the roster opening day, you play. Cam, hashtag drug testing needed. So, Stephen A., I want to bring you back with Lewis. Uh, Lewis, I I'll, I'll let you respond. No, you know what? I ain't got, I already, uh, you know what? Look, look, Stephen A., look. All right, let me just put it this way, okay? What I was talking about, Stephen A., was the fact that like this. Okay, you understand that on the first day of training camp, Jared Stidham is someone who's been through this system, who understands the terminology, who understands like what the pre-snap communication has got to be like, what the post-snap reads are got to be like. There's got to be someone who can actually execute the offense on day one, given the fact that no one's gone through an offseason. Cam hasn't even been up there to, to, to New England, hasn't even met the coaches, doesn't even really know what system they're going to run. Someone has to kind of like set the tone initially, then you let them compete after but, that. If Cam's going to be the better player, then he's the better player, and then he wins the starting job, then so be it. Don't be coming at me well, on Twitter like that, Steve. Ryan, well, first, of all, first, of all, first of all, Ryan. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not done talking. Hold on. I'm not done talking. First of all, first of all, I'm not done. Second of all, I'm going to tell you this, okay? If he winds up being the better player, then he winds up playing. So then let's let him play. But on day one, Jared Stidham lines up number one. Cam lines up number two. And then we'll see what happens when the regular season starts. If Cam balls out, great. I've been saying all along he should have been signed, okay? You know that. Now, uh -huh. go ahead. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Ryan, let yeah. me tell you something about Mr. Chip. Let me tell you something about Mr. Chippendales over there. Mr. Chippendales. That's what I call him. He knows that, okay? First of all, first of all, first of all, you can't say you think you can't say it. I'll say it. What the hell? That's what WTH stands for. What the hell is Lewis Riddick talking about? Now listen, Lewis Riddick is not gonna beat me. Let me be very clear about this, Ryan. Lewis Riddick can never beat me in a football argument. Do you know why? Mm. Because most of the football I learned from him. So all I do is listen to him, <laughs> quote him, remember <laughs> what he says, and then I hold him accountable for it. He knows how I do this. This is not, this is not rocket science here. I listen to the man. I listen to Lewis Riddick talk about resume. I listen to him talk about credentials. And I've also listened to Lewis Riddick, maybe not about Stidham, but in examples in the past, considering his football brilliance is excellence, because we all know he should be the GM of the New York Giants. That's right, I said it. But the bottom line is this. Lewis Riddick <laughs> would be the first to say, Ryan, yo, if Jared Stidham was that dude and you knew he was that dude as a starter, you wouldn't even bring somebody with the cachet of Cam Newton in, no matter what the cost, because why compromise the productivity of this young man if he's your future? So the fact that Jared Stidham was the backup to Tom Brady, 42-year-old Tom Brady, supposedly on a ravine or a cliff, depending on what word in his vocabulary that Max Kellerman would, you, would choose to use on any given day. The <laughs> bottom line <laughs> Stidham wasn't that dude. When Tom Brady goes, Stidham, Stidham's been there. You could have used him. You could have said, this is our guy. But you still haven't said it. Why? Because you still don't have faith. And what school did Stidham play at? I think it was Auburn, if I remember correctly. Did he win a Heisman Trophy? Hell no. Did he win a national championship like Cam did at the same school? Hell no. A matter of fact, we the only reason we heard about Stidham was because Tom Brady was 42 years old, collecting extra dust on his birth certificate. So Lewis Riddick knows this. Lewis Riddick has disseminated this message to the masses, regardless of what <clears throat> circumstance that he is talking about. Lewis Riddick is one of the people who teaches me about football, which is why I sound so <laughs> brilliant half the time when I'm talking about football. So I ain't worried about what Lewis Riddick is saying right now. He can still <laughs> His chest. He can point his finger at me. He can raise his voice. He can loosen his collar like Mr. Chippendale. He can do all of that stuff. It don't matter. He's doing In it. the end, the bottom line is this. Jared Stidham, Bill Belichick, hasn't definitively placed his faith and Jared Stidham, and if there is a question mark, you start off with Cam, and you make Stidham prove that he deserves to be number one. Not the other way around for a guy that's been a number one for the last nine years. Lewis, I got... discussion. Lu but, uh, Lewis, I, I give, give you ten seconds. The producers are all over me. Go ahead. Look, it's like this, though. Bill don't care what you did in the past, especially if you haven't done it for him. Bill's all about the future. 
That's all he's about. And I, and I will say this, too. If mm -hmm. Bill thought as though that the only way he could compete is if he had Cam Newton on his roster, Bill would have signed him a long time, long time ago. I will say this. The Patriots you know what? played a long game better than anybody. They played a long game better than anybody. Look, I, I, I can't see, look, there I you can't go wait to see the competition. Again. We haven't had this much intrigue there you go at quarterback in New England for a long time. I see hey, you on third take. I wait until we can see you on first take. Face -face. You know what? You we, know what? Yeah. I, I might yeah, open yeah, my I'll cup. Be there. I'll be there. I, I might open my go cup. Go ahead and open it. <laughs> I might be Mr. Chippendales <laughs> today. I mean, the I might ready, it everybody. Open it up. Gentlemen, thank you. This is why first take is going to be great today. How good is this going to be? Oh, he's got a tie off. It's getting hot in That's here. That's it. You got to unbutton what? a couple buttons And now. the collar. There you go. There you go. Get comfortable. Oh, no. Get comfortable. I'll see you in a few minutes. All right. It's on. I'll it's on, people. Minutes. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.